It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and I'm at Circus Circus Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas and I'm headed to the buffet. I've never actually been to this buffet before. I've been to every buffet in Las Vegas many times, but never this one. Never Circus Circus. Why? I don't know. It had a reputation, maybe still does, for being terrible. <laughs> but I'm ready to eat, so let's go see what there is to eat at the Circus Circus Buffet. The Circus Buffet. I have been here at Circus Circus on the weekend. And let me just tell you, it looks a lot different than it looks right now. You better wait, be prepared to wait for about an hour if you come here on a Saturday or a Sunday. But today is Tuesday and literally the only one in line. All right, so the weekday dinner here at Circus Circus is $21.99. Let's see what's on the buffet. I see a, a pasta station where you can choose your pasta. That looks very tempting to me. Here is chicken parmesan. That'll be perfect with my spaghetti. Clams on broth. Italian sausage, Italian meatballs, and lasagna. Well, I gotta say, this is already looking a lot better than I expected. Baked fish, fried fish, fried shrimp, white rice, fried rice, and orange chicken. I gotta be honest, I thought this was going to look a lot like the buffet in Vegas vacation. But I don't think they had dim sum on the buffet in Vegas vacation. There's egg rolls, taquitos, enchiladas, and ground beef. So you can make tacos with those, those taco shells back there. Oh, here's the carving station. Always the, the meaty centerpiece of any Vegas buffet, and that does look like a meaty piece of meat. It's one of the meatiest pieces of meat I've seen on a buffet. And there's turkey. Another one of my favorites. This buffet has like all my favorites. I'm only halfway through. Pizza. I like pizza like this. It's gooey, cheese, and oily pepperoni. And it looks like something you get at an arcade. And look at these mashed potatoes. They're like properly lumpy. <laughs> Two types of gravy. Ribs. Again, with the meatiness at this place. Vegetables. If you bring a vegetarian with you, here's what they can eat. Maybe they can have some beans too. Here's more. This is baked chicken. What is this? Oh my god, it says peach cobbler. It looks like some kind of candy fantasy peach cobbler. And beef stew. Another comfort food. This is, I guess, rice pilaf. I guess this is all, oh, fried chicken. Fried chicken, and this looks like good fried chicken too. Look at that, big pieces, lots of crispy coating. Lots of breasts and wings and probably every piece. And corn dogs. Chicken tenders. That. Put that back there. And mac and cheese. It's like a fresh platter of mac and cheese. Baked off and ready to be eaten by children. See, I, I think all the food here, one of the reasons it looks appealing to me is that it's all food aimed at kids. And I love kid food. I mean, I gotta say it, it's no, it's no secret. When I say comfort food, I pretty much mean kid food. You know, home style mashed potatoes and beef stew and fried chicken and spaghetti and pizza. I mean, it's all here. Now this is the, the avenue of desserts. 
of the desserts over there and the, the salads over here. It's like, which way do you go? Which way do you choose? So I guess we can start by taking a look at the salad bar. There's yogurts and bean salad and pasta salad, some hard boiled eggs. Here's your salad dressing, and then the actual salad is right down there. But here's what I'm excited about. Well, no, I spoke too soon. Not the sugar-free desserts, but the real dessert desserts. Oh, look at this! Golden malted pancake and waffle flour dispenser mix. <laughs> okay, I, just, I guess you bake it off on your own. And there's brownies and cake. Looks like red velvet cake and carrot cake and chocolate cake. Those are like the three main cakes. Here's pastries, danishes, and pies. And that's like a like a coffee cake. Strawberry shortcake. Another one of my favorites. <laughs> and I, that looks like um, Boston cream pie, maybe? Wow, this is just gorgeous. Look at all of this. And that's the buffet at Circus Circus. Well, I've got a lot of eating to do, so I'm going to make myself a plate. All right, I'm, I'm, so I'm starting with the, the made-to-order pasta. This has got to be the freshest food on this buffet, so it's probably the best food on this buffet. I've ordered the spaghetti with marinara sauce. You can get it with garlic, but I decided not to get that garlic. That just might be a little too much since this is my first plate. <laughs> sure, a little cheese would be good. Thank you. Look at that. That was so quick and easy and made to order. Awesome. Looks great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look at this. This looks like the perfect kid plate of spaghetti. <laughs> All right, and the perfect plate to go along with that spaghetti is this one. I got some chicken parmesan, meatballs. I'm going to turn my spaghetti into spaghetti and meatballs. I got this very, the very piece of pizza that I was drooling over over there. Got some fried popcorn shrimps and of course fried chicken. All right, so here's where the magic happens where I put the meatballs into the spaghetti. Making meatballs and spaghetti or spaghetti and meatballs, whatever you want to call it, with a side of chicken parmesan. I just want to show you that side. You can see the, the nice coating. There's a little bit of parmesan here. And of course that, that delectable chicken white meat inside. Let's taste it. Mm. It's very, very good. I mean, you know, for buffet food. Here's, here's the one I'm really counting on right here. Is the spaghetti. Mm. Hot. Freshly made. And a meatball. Okay, not gonna lie, meatballs taste like TV dinners, just so does the, the, the chicken parmesan. But the spaghetti though. All right, let's try the pizza. Look at that. I think that's a piece of shrimp or something in there. All right, let's try the pizza. Just like I'm at an arcade in the 80s. 
you know, I guess that's that's what this buffet is for, is if you want to have a nostalgic trip back to your childhood, or if you are currently a child. All right, time to cut into this chicken breast. Not as juicy as it looks. Yeah, I won't be getting any more of that chicken. Pizza though, almost done with it. Might get some more. Gotta hit the carving station though, because I gotta get some of that meat and mashed potatoes. Can I get a slice of both? Thank you. So it looks like that's ham. Thought it was turkey. But I'll take it. Oh yeah, the mashed potatoes. That's what this whole trip was really about. To the to the carving station it was just so I could get mashed potatoes. I guess I'll put the beef gravy on it. Since it's beef, and you gotta try the ribs. These look so good. Oh, they do look pretty tender. But I guess I gotta try it to really find out. It's funny how this, this piece of ham looks super moist on this side and super dry on this side. Right? What does that mean? I guess nobody's been ordering the ham. Well, I'm going to try it. I guess I could use a knife. Okay. That's dry. All right, how about this, this beef? Not sure what kind of beef it is. Roast beef, I guess I'll just call it. Mm. That's softer than the ham. It does have that that flavor of Canned food. I know it's not canned. I saw him <laughs> carve it off a gigantic actual piece of meat. Unless it's from a really big can. Still kind of has that flavor though. All right. How about the ribs? Look at that. Didn't even need to mess up my fingers. tender as it looks. I don't like that flavor either. It tastes kind of old. Is that a flavor old? Because that's what these ribs, that's the flavor of these ribs. I was so excited about this buffet. I mean, all the kid food, the comfort food, reliving my childhood here at Circus Circus. And I literally can't seem to eat anything. All right, I'm gonna have to see if this place can be redeemed by the desserts because these do look all right. I guess I need a plate. Here's the plate. And this 
looks like pudding. And I, I like pudding. It's not labeled. The desserts aren't labeled like the other food. Oh, here we go. This looks good. Strawberry shortcake. I think the two desserts I got basically look exactly alike. Is this vanilla pudding? Or? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, so vanilla pudding. I will say it's a little odd because I haven't seen a waitress come to my table I, and I don't see self-serve drink stations. I probably just haven't found them. But they're, they're not anywhere I can see and I see people have drinks on their tables. Uh, but I haven't gotten a, a waitress at the table even though I see them around. So I'm on my dessert and I haven't had anything to drink. But it could be my own fault because I, maybe I just don't know where to get the drinks. Signage would be helpful if there's a drink machine or making a drink machine visible. It might be helpful. I'd ask someone, but no one's come to my table. <laughs> All right, let's try the strawberry shortcake. Oh, that's good. Of course it is. It's a pre-made dessert. break out my spoon just for this pudding. That's like the most no taste, no texture pudding I've ever had. Well, the strawberry shortcake is good. And so is the spaghetti. So those are my two suggestions, although I didn't finish any of it. <laughs> if there's one thing I can say that is great about this buffet is because there are no servers, literally, that come to your table, you don't have to worry about leaving a tip. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the Circus Circus Buffet. And be sure to subscribe for more, because there's always more to eat when it's all you can Vegas.